Hey, welcome back to Beer Geeks Beer Reviews with your host, Scott White. Merry Christmas to everybody. Hopefully everybody had a good holiday. Um, but I wanted to go boom right here, man. We got a big one for you today, but I got an empty glass. You know, just taking a look by this glass right here. What should we put into this? We got to put something good in this, man. We just had a good holiday and I broke one out of the closet, man. I, I, I just had I had to go get one, you know, that I was talking to my main man, um, Dave Coulter, you know, sampling beers with Dave, beer samplings with Dave over here on uh, YouTube, Facebook, and whatnot. And I was sitting there talking with him, and he, he you know, put a bug in my ear and was like, you know, we was talking about this beer company and decided, hey, you know what? I got a beer in my storage that would just be lovely for today. And he was like, man, I want to see the review on this beer. So without further ado, let's go ahead and go. Wham. Look at that. Revolution Brewing Company's third year beer. Now, they've had a big, big, big year. Man, ever since they've come into Ohio's network, you know, I've been checking them out and I love absolutely everything that they've done. One way or another, it's either been on the okay side, it's pretty good, it's very drinkable, and or holy crap, this is an amazing beer. Well, let's go ahead and tap into this one and find out if this is going to be another one of those amazing beers. Man. First off, I've been so I've been putting this one in the closet and cellar in this one for a little while, should I say. You know, I got a closet with uh, that I keep at a certain temperature. You know, this this bottle is you know still fairly cold from coming out of there. Um, I do want to point out that this bottle sits there and says it is uh, January thirtieth of this year. So, um, I don't know much about it. I, I all I know is that it says third year beer, barley wine aged in rum barrels. Um, that. That right there is very, very interesting, but BAM! I also have the box handy. Why I like to keep these things is for the information that is listed on these boxes. Um, let's see, where do we have a celebration of our third anniversary? We brewed this with a hearty wheat barley wine with uh, um, unrefined Mexican cane sugar. It can be found in you know, blah, 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 blah. Um, aged. Um, four months in Jamaican rum barrels, resulting in a sweet, delicious, malt forward winter warmer. Okay, you know, fairly, you know, okay for this time of year. So I'm going to toss this aside. Let's go whoop, and crack open this beer, man. I've been looking forward to this one for quite a while. I just haven't had the right moment to do it. So I figured what better of a moment than right now? Pop, 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 pop. Ooh, that's got a little bit of a smoke to it. I like that. And as everybody knows, you know, this coming from their limited series, nothing but a black cap. Let's go ahead and get a pour on this one. That should do her. I'm going to sit this over here and sit out of the screen so everybody can see what I'm doing. Put it right there, man. Ooh, I can smell that one already. You know, look how far I am from it. And look at the coloring on it already. Look at that coloring. That is beautiful. Oh, that is just lovely. You know, there's a small stream of carbonation. You know, it could be the glass. It might be the beer. I don't know. We're about to find out. Man, uh, what did I leave out? Where's that dumb box, man? I left something really important out. I don't know if I said this. Um, this is a whopping boom. 11.2% alcohol by volume. But don't forget, I let it go ahead and age just a little bit. Um, it's right now, it's the day after Christmas, man. So you can say this is almost aged um, almost a year. We're going, what, 11 months? So I figure this would not um, 
have too much of a head on it or it's going to dissipate very very quickly because of the high alcohol content um coloring it's a nice dark um almost like a um dark tangerine color it's very copperous but it's almost got those garnet hues of red in there um just a lovely lovely color look at that you can see straight through that oh very very lovely smells very sweet very 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 sweet it's almost got like um I, I did read that uh candy sugar kind of like candy sugar um it is very very sweet <sighs> definitely sweet bready kind of like um a, a sweet sugar cookie smell but then you're getting a lot of that malt body in there <sighs> <sighs> Very candy like. Ah, there's definitely those rum notes in there. It's definitely there. Ah, oh well. Bros, let's go ahead and dip into this and find out how good it's going to be. Wow. Very, very smooth, very warming. I can I can definitely get that warming as it goes all the way down. Um, you definitely do get that breadiness there. Um, you do get like a candy malt flavor to it. Um, as a fruit notes, so they're there. Um, oh, how do I want to put this? Um, very complex. Maybe like a raspberry, um, um, blackberry maybe. Um, definitely like a uh, caramel or caramel um, covered apple, like a sweet um, baker's apple. Um, there's just a lot of sugary sweetness to this. I mean, it's not cloying at all. That is definitely not the case. Um, but to me, it is definitely sweet. It's not like some of those other barley wines that are out there like, uh, like Bigfoot or, um, e even going towards the, the area of, um, oh, who was that? Uh, I think it was North Coast Brewing, um, oh, that, uh, old stock ale that I, I did. It's almost in between a little bit of both of those, but it's got that barrel characteristic and um, definitely a little bit of vanillic, going, uh, vanillic uh, flavors going on there. Um, definitely that rum is there. It shines through. Oh. Ooh. But at 11.2%, you can't really taste the alcohol because it's that sweet. But at the same time, you can definitely get that warming. I mean, all up in the chest area, all up in the throat. Um, it just definitely takes over. Um, I want to put this at maybe a medium to a low end of uh, full mouth feel, only because there's just that much going on in there. Um, yeah, this is a truly unique beer. But it's going to be a, a you truly unique sipper. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, this is this is going to be a sipper for sure. Um, with that said, man, I'm about to get up out of here. I'm about to enjoy this beer. Hey, man, peace, pros, deuce. Please rate, comment, su uh, subscribe, um, and comment. Let me know if you've had this beer. Let me know if you had the other one. Um, there's some other. Uh, they do some barley wine. Uh, they there's another one. I can't remember the name off of the top of my head. Um, I haven't had their traditional one, um, but that I am going to seek out. Uh, if you've had it, yeah, man, come, comment back, man. Let me know what you think. Uh, 
I, I think it's a very good one. It's just on rather on the sweet side for me. I, um, other than that, it's it's truly a unique and very good take on this barley one. Peace. See you on the flip side. Please don't drink and drive. Don't text and drive. And enjoy the rest of your holiday season. Man, I see you again on the other side.